Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the August edition of Studio Cafe. Our guests this month are Joanne Lynch and Jim Welch with the Seal Beach Animal Care Center, Sherry Croft and Don Farrell with the Los Alamitos Unified School District, Shelley Sestarsik and Libby Applegate for the Founders Day. Patricia Eskenazi and Dick Ramsayer with the Los Al Seal Beach Rotary Club. Nancy Cradell and Marilyn Russell Biddle with the Women's Club of Seal Beach. Esther Kenyon and Haley Pollock with the Bay Theater Foundation. Welcome to the August 2013 edition of Studio Cafe, where you can learn what's happening in and around Seal Beach, the city of surf, sun, and fun. And joining us now, we have Joanne Lynch and Jim Welch with the Seal Beach Animal Care Center. Welcome. Hi, Jo. Thank you. Nice to see you. Well, Joanne, who have you brought today to share? Well, this is mahogany. Um, mahogany is a two to two and a half year old pointer boxer mix and some people from out of state in an old kind of reconditioned school bus tried to drop mahogany off at the care center um, saying that they had found her in Seal Beach mm. and one of our most savvy and longtime dog welfare volunteers realized that there was something a little sketchy about that story. Okay. So truth be told, she had been riding around in the van with these folks for a couple of months. She's originally from Tennessee. Oh. She was used as a bait dog in dog fighting. Oh, for heaven's sakes. More importantly, the minute our dog welfare President Jane heard the word Tennessee. Mahogany was at the vet the next day being tested for heartworm, oh. which she did have. Now, treatment for heartworm, we don't see it here that much in Southern California. Mm -hmm. Treatment for heartworm requires injections and for the animal to be kept absolutely calm. The idea is to not let the infection travel out of the heart and into the bloodstream. Long story short, mahogany was under treatment for four months, mm -hmm. 12 hours a day, and 24 hours a day after she had just gotten her injection, we had volunteers living in her run with her mm. to keep her calm and to keep her reassured. She is absolutely delightful. Every time we try to bring you someone who we feel deserves a good home and would be a wonderful dog. And this little girl really if we've ever pleaded for a dog to get adopted, mm -hmm. this little girl needs a loving forever home. Well, I'll tell you, just uh, while she's been here, she's been so well behaved and she's very smart. She is incredibly very smart. smart. So, One of the volunteers who did a six hour shift mm -hmm. in the run with Mahogany while she was recuperating over the period of two and a half or three months, actually finished reading nine books. Oh, for <laughs> she was taken out for her little potty needs mm -hmm. a couple of times a day. Other than that, kept very calm and very, still. very calm. 
And all that so. closeness has really helped her to settle on in. To absolutely to bond with people and it just shows the devotion of the volunteers yes. at Seal Beach Animal Care Center. Well, and especially after having such a rough beginning, how awesome that is. So your volunteers have done a, an excellent job. She just seems such just like such a sweet, sweet girl. So that's wonderful. So does she get along well with other animals? In the beginning, while she's being established in her new forever home, mm -hmm. she'd do best as the only dog. Okay. And then perhaps another dog could be introduced. But we're, we're thinking probably only dog in the home. Okay. All right. And she probably would make an excellent watchdog. Yes. She's been through such a, a calamitous last year that we know of, and mm -hmm. who knows what she went through before. But you can tell the, the characterization of her, her tail. It naturally, on TV, it stopped wagging. Right. Otherwise, it's always, always wagging. wagging. Yeah. She's always friendly. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing what she has gone through. And uh, we are so proud of her. And she's, if this was daylight, you could see why her name is Mahogany, yeah. because it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brown uh, short uh, haired dog. Yeah, and, she is gorgeous. Uh, and she's just. Uh, it's it's hard to believe what she's gone through as compared to what she is today. Oh, just awesome. Yeah. Just, just, what a great transition. <coughs> yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, I, I know that the Wiener Nationals just finished, so we want to give a little update about well, that. Well, the Wiener we, Nationals, that was such okay, a great the success. 18th running of the Wiener Nationals mm -hmm. was not quite up to par because of the weather. Now, I've been to all 18 of the Wiener Nationals, Wiener Schnitzel Wiener Nationals, mm -hmm. and uh, there's been nothing but bright sunshine, almost too hot on those days. But this year, uh, we had a little uh, cloudy that day and even rain. A little rain, yes. And so the attendance was down a little, but uh, overall it was very successful. And you know, over 18 years, uh, the, the Wiener Schnitzel Corporation and the Los Alamitos race course together has uh, given our, uh, d well, in donations, has give, donated to our uh, uh, animal shelter over uh, uh, almost now a quarter of a million dollars. That's, that's what we've raised. And that's a lot of neutered and spayed and mm -hmm. food and medication All and medical care for our animals. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are very indebted to them and very grateful. Oh. And so it, it was It was good. Well, it was a lovely evening, yeah. and it actually ended up being a perfect night. So yeah. for those of us who were there, we got to enjoy it. If you missed it, you'll want to make sure you go next year because it is such a fun family event, so much fun. And for anyone at home looking for a furry friend, please keep our little mahogany here in mind. She has the sweetest disposition and, uh, and is looking for her forever home. So if you have an opening in your heart and in your home, please contact the Animal Care Center. Uh, thank you for, this is a great story. Uh -oh. So thank you If you, you have for a minute, that. there were two <laughs> ladies, really. One spent the mornings and uh, the other spent the afternoons, the one that read nine to 10 books mm -hmm. over that three month period. Yes. And uh, they kept the dog mm -hmm. from getting too excited so the blood would not, I mean, it was very tedious. But they came, she came out alive. She came out alive. Right. Unfortunately, we're now out of time. So okay. thank you very much for, um, for bringing Mahogany. And don't you go anywhere at home. We'll be right back with um, a safety school consultant and the superintendent of Los Alamitos Unified School District. We'll be right back.
and welcome back. Joining us now, we have the Los Alamitos Unified School District Superintendent Sherry Kropp and uh, District Safety Consultant Don, Captain Don Farrell. Welcome both of you. Good evening. Thank you. I know that um, today we have to really be d diligent in keeping our kids safe and uh, school uh, violence is a harsh reality today. So mm -hmm. Sherry, how is the district handling this concern? So really with the vision of our board over a year ago, so before Sandy Hook and some other strategy, uh, tragedies, we started a um, violence prevention and response task force with law enforcement and different people to really look at what we could do to make our schools the safest in the country. Mm -hmm. And one of those was to hire C Captain Don Farrell as a district safety consultant. And as a result of that, we've done a lot of work toward making our schools safe. And um, I'll say a few of those after Captain Farrell talks about what he did. Okay. Now, Captain Ferris, can you t Farrell, can you tell us about the evaluation that you did and what your recommendations Okay. Certainly. My background is Homeland Security through the City of Los oh, Angeles and okay. the Port of Los Angeles. So I use the Department of Homeland Security risk assessment formula where you look at a critical facility and you take a look at its vulnerability, the, uh, the threat to that facility, mm -hmm. the vulnerability, and then the consequence. So as I looked at our campuses, most of our campuses were built in the, the 50s, 60s, and uh, so they're, they're fairly old as far as the, the style and construction goes. Mm -hmm. And they're classic California schools. Okay. Now, we don't have schools like on the East Coast where it's a single building that's three stories tall and, and a block wide. So uh, most of the issues that I looked at for our campuses had to do with the the layout of the school, the fencing, mm -hmm. the access to the campus and those types of things. And the idea was is to reduce the vulnerability of the campuses to all hazards, not just an intruder on campus, but what were the earthquake issues, what were the traffic oh, wow. issues, okay. what were the, you know, the other hazards that could affect the safety of our campuses and our students and our staff. Mm -hmm. And so based on that, we came up with uh, a list of 15 recommendations. Um, of which uh, primarily on the Los Al High School campus was the school resource officer, upgrading the uh, training and the quality of our, uh, of our campus supervisors, making them more identifiable uh, by having a standardized uniforms and training for them. Mm -hmm. And then a few other things such as um, uh, assisting first responders to get to the campuses by clearly labeling the buildings and the doors uh, on the campuses, hardening the, uh, the windows by, by adding a mylar coating so they can't be broken out uh, in a uh, active shooter situation or in an earthquake the windows don't break. Mm -hmm. So we came up with about 15 uh, recommendations that uh, we're going to implement on the campuses. Well, fantastic. So. Um, Sherry, what is the timeline with the priorities that have been um, identified? Immediately. So we always <laughs> want it yesterday. <laughs> and so um, the SRO at the high school will start in September. And we also hired an elementary counselor, someone, because when we talk to teachers and families, um, we really can identify certain risks um, when family children are young. And so we have an elementary counselor. We hired a new psychologist so that we could strengthen our team at the middle schools. So those things have already been done and Don already being done. And now we have this list of 15 and the board at the last uh, board meeting gave authorization for us to get going on the first five. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna move on them fast and then when those are done and we see the real costs associated with those five, mm -hmm. then we'll come back to the board with the next group of five and ask what priority that they, they want. And so um, we're going fast and included in that, he was very brief for this, but mm -hmm. Um, we're also training all staff and doing more practice drills and really making people who are around our children knowledgeable about what to do in an instant so that it's automatic and you can react fast. And uh, no one would argue that it, the most important thing for us is keeping our children safe. Oh, absolutely. And, and you know, I remember as a kid, the safest place was for us to be at school. Yes. You know, and, and you wouldn't dream of anything like this happening at a school and, no. and yet it's a different time of course. 
Um, but I, I am grateful that your goal is to be the safest school and to have the safest campuses in the country. I mean, that's a, that's a good goal. You know, one of the yeah. things is, is we're blessed. Mm -hmm. We're in a great community. Yes. We're in a, we don't yes. have the problems that a lot of other communities have with violent crime or gang violence and, and those types of issues. So we're blessed with a great community. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing that, that we can do is create a culture of safety on our campuses. And in creating a culture of safety, that's just an awareness. Parents, students, staff members, keeping the local law enforcement and fire departments aware that, that you know here are our campuses and you're always welcome here. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of the goal. One of the, the primary programs that we've started is the If You See Something, Say Something campaign. Oh. So if you're around one of our campuses and, and everybody's been somewhere and thought, somebody should know about that. Yes. We've started a program, and you're going to see these posters all up in the campuses and, and around our schools for If You See Something, Say Something. So that's the biggest thing we can do to make our campuses safe, is just have some public awareness. Mm -hmm. And if you see something that concerns you, you call this them. number, Fantastic. and we'll be able to address those concerns immediately. Very good, very good. Well, thank you very much for taking your time out and um, being here this evening, and for all the work that you're doing to keep our kids safe at the campuses uh, in our district. Um, if if and when you have more to share, please let me know. We'll have you back so you can share this with our viewers. Um, but uh, we've run out of time, so I, I do need to say good, e good evening to you for now. But thank you again for your time today. Uh, we're you. going to uh, take a quick break, and then we will be back uh, to talk about the upcoming 98th Founders Day here in Seal Beach. So don't you go away. Welcome back to the August edition of Studio Cafe. And joining us now, I have Libby Applegate and Shelley Sestarsik with the Founders Day Committee. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. It's the 98th celebration show. Shelley, when is this year's celebration? This year's celebration is going to be a concert on Sunday, October 6th from 12.30 to 2.30 down near the pier at Eisenhower <laughs> Park. And uh, we're going to just be keeping our keeping our place there, holding on, waiting for the centennial in two years, but uh, having a nice concert this year. Well, fantastic. So what is this year's theme? This year's theme is surf, fun, and song. And song, <laughs> very good. Yeah. We're gonna be having uh, the um, Oak Middle School choral group, uh, chorus here singing some songs. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll also have Los Alamitos High School Marching Band and Los Alamitos H High School Jazz Band, which are both award-winning bands and really, really great to listen to. We've also got uh, Hank Bartow from Leisure World. Mm -hmm. His band's a lot of fun. <laughs> And we may have a sing-along with, with, with his band. With so Hank? it oh. should, be, should be a lot of fun. Oh, that sounds like a great time. So what other activities will be taking place at the Founders Day celebration? You want to address that, Libby? Are we going to be honoring Rich Harbor? Oh, yes. Okay. And I think okay. Libby, Libby, uh, Libby actually <laughs> interviewed him, so she has some... She has some uh, uh, well, Rich Harbor is going to be honored for his... Uh, 
his talent okay. uh, of having a, uh, a small town boy with a big idea. He's a, and I also say a small time boy, small town boy with, um, with a big talent um, of building surfboards. Mm -hmm. When he first started out, um, he, he used to, his, his mother uh, was, was a, loved the surf herself. And his dad built her uh, a belly board and so she was in the surf a lot longer, uh, well, before, before Rich got into the surf. Mm -hmm. he, was, um, he was born in 1943, so he was, he, was, uh, he was there before the Navy base came in. Oh, for heaven's sake. And he told me that that, that particular section around 13th Street was, had very big waves. Mm. And... Um, his mother started out enjoying the, the waves so much, he didn't see his father ever wearing a ba bathing suit. But his mother was in the ocean all the time. <laughs> and uh, he, he said um, when, when he was 14, he's waiting to, to he watched his brother uh, work in the, uh, in the, uh, the umbrella uh, surf mat concession mm -hmm. that was owned by by uh, Mr. Stanglin, G. Stanglin. And uh, so he waited till he was 14 and he asked to be hired. And so he had, he was a good body surfer and he also got to use the mats, the surf mats for free on weekends because he worked there every day during the summer. He did one whole summer. And um, and then his mother said, uh, you know, he was, he, she was always watching the surfers out there. Mm -hmm. he said, uh, Rich, why don't you try that? And he mm -hmm. said, well, that's an idea. And so he borrowed a surfboard that was ready to be, that was going to be sold. And so he wanted to try it out. And he, this is what I say, uh, one wave changed his life. <laughs> and I want, just wanted to read you his quote that he, that he talked about, how he described that wave. Okay. I paddled out and sat there waiting for just the right wave. When it finally came, all that body and mat surfing experience kicked in, and I caught that wave surprisingly early. Easily, I mean. I stood up and made it straight to the beach without falling off. Wow. Was I stoked? <laughs> there was no measurement of that much stroke, and I was hooked beyond any imagination. He had a natural talent, because I tried as a kid, and I <laughs> never got up. I'll well, he said he wasn't much of a surfer, oh. but he became uh, interested in building his own surfboard because the surfboard that he borrowed uh, was, was, was for sale. Mm -hmm. And he had such a great time on that surfboard. He, um, but he found out that it, was off, it wasn't, was, wasn't for sale anymore. It was taken off the market. Oh. <laughs> and he was so crushed, <laughs> he thought, you know, I, I've got to get my own surfboard. So I'll make one instead. And uh, so I guess Jack Haley was a uh, sergeant of the lifeguard then and, and his dad went to talk to Jack where can you get a surfboard mm -hmm. you know a used surfboard he, he brought him one ah. and so he worked on it and he repaired a few dings but uh, one day they came home and it was stolen had been stolen oh for heaven's sake and his parents were not going to buy him a new one mm -hmm. and then he worked on his dad and he said you know uh, we could work on this together <laughs> <laughs> We could, be, we could bond as a father-son project. Mm -hmm. And so the two of them, he, uh, his father helped him gather materials. And I think it was uh, when, he was, when he was 16, uh, he started making his own surfboard. He got a, the, a blank from Harold Walker. Okay. And because he was making the first foam blanks. And oh, they were, they were much, much lighter than the 
than the balsa wood. Wow. Well, I'm sure we could do a mm -hmm. whole st a whole <laughs> show on uh, on Rich, but unfortunately, we have run out of time. Mm -hmm. But you still want to save the date, and that is Sunday, October sixth. And we will have the Founder Day lady, Founder Day committee ladies back uh, for September to bring more information about that. But thank you for okay. for that. We'll be honoring uh, Rich Harbor. Um, but now we're going to uh, take a break, and we will be back. So don't go away. <laughs> Friday, August 1st, from 3 to closing, the Merchants on Main invite you to the first Friday fling for entertainment, refreshments, and specials. Tuesdays from 8 to 3, come play uh, card and board games at the Senior Center. Bring your lunch. Admission is free. The Rotary Club of Los Alamitos Seal Beach meets every Tuesday at noon at Mr. B's Sports Bar and Grill in Los Alamitos. For details, email rotarylosal at gmail.com. Every Wednesday through August 28th, the Seal Beach Summer Concert Series continues. For details, visit sealbeachchamber.org or call 799-0179. Wednesdays, August 7th and the 21st, the Seal Beach Lions Club meets at 7 p.m. at Corey's. Call Mike Haley at 673-4998 or visit sealbeachlions.com. Thursday, August 8th at 8 a.m., the Seal Beach Chamber meets at O'Malley's on Main. Call 799-0179 or visit sealbeachchamber.org. Saturday, August 10th and the 24th from noon to 3, the Seal Beach Historical Society invites you to visit the Red Car Museum. For details, call 430-1450. Sunday, August 11th from 1 to 5, join members of the Up, Up, and Away Kite Club on the north side of the pier. For details, visit kiteclub.org. Wednesday, August 14th, the Rossmore Women's Club meets at the Old Ranch Country Club at noon. For details, call 810-7139 or visit rossmorewomensclub.org. Saturday, August 17th from 9 to noon is the monthly beach cleanup. Meet at the First Street parking lot. Visit SaveOurBeach.org for details. Tuesday, August 20th at 6 p.m. is the monthly Seal Beach American Legion meeting. Contact Commander Beverly Bonney at SBAL Post 857 at AOL.com. Saturday, August 24th is the Los Alamitos Seal Beach Rotary Club's 22nd Annual Fishing Derby. Registration is from 7 to 9. It's a catch, weigh, and release. Refreshments and trophies. Bring your own rod and reel, but not required to participate. The event is free. Contact Patricia Eskenazi at 8820533 or email pescanazi at mindspring.com. Tuesday, August 27th at 7 p.m. is the monthly Veterans of Foreign Wars meeting. For details, call Post Commander Don Schmalt Dan Schmaltz at 714-906-5025. Saturday, August 31st at 8 a.m., join the folks at Whole Body Vibe on Main for Sandwich Saturday. To make a donation or volunteer, contact Kimba at 430-9280 or visit wbvstudio.com. Saturday, August 31st, from 8 to 8.30 to 11, tour the Seal Beach National Wildlife Refuge at the Seal Beach Naval Weapons Station. Reservations are required. 598-1024 for details. Kids 12 to 18 years old provide community service to the Seal Beach Leos Club. Contact Advisor Scott Newton for details at 537-3955. If you're 14 to 20 years old, you can join the Seal Beach Police Explorers. For details, call 799-4100, extension 1136. Licensed amateur radio operators volunteer with RACES to help with emergency community response. Contact Todd DeVoe at 799-4100, extension 1145. Help local homebound seniors two to four hours a week. Contact Community Senior Serve at 714-220-0224. If you or someone you know is a veteran, please contact the Veterans Service Center. Call 936-1796 or visit veteranservicecenter.com.
Save the dates. Friday evenings beginning September 13th through October 4th, you're invited to movie night at Eisenhower Park and learn more about the Bay Theater Foundation. Movies will begin at dusk. For more information, call Nick Carabata at 714-702-4272 or visit baytheaterfoundation.org. Mark your calendar now for Sunday, October 6th from 1230 to 2.30 to celebrate Seal Beach's 98th Founders Day at Eisenhower Park adjacent to the pier. Studio Cafe is about what's happening in and around Seal. If you've got a suggestion, please email sbjdawson at gmail.com. Welcome back. Joining us now, I have Dick Ramsayer and Pat Eskenazi with the Los Alamitos Seal Beach Rotary Club. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're getting ready for the 22nd annual fishing derby. Yeah, that's right. And you two have been sharing it all 22 years. We have. Yeah. Yeah, we used to have the Rotary Club of Seal Beach, mm -hmm. and then Seal Beach joined with Los Alamitos. So. Okay, so you took your derby with you. We took the derby with us. <laughs> Well, fantastic, because it's been, now it's a tradition here in town, right? Right. It is. So when is this year's Derby? August 24th. Very good. And uh, that's a Saturday? Yes, it is. That'll okay. be in the morning. In the morning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Registration is from 7 to 9? Right. Okay. Right. And what's the age range for the kids? Uh, it's 5, well, and that could be younger, because some of the, the some of them come here, up uh, to 15. 5 to 15, mm -hmm. okay. And anyone can participate? Anyone can and that, participate, and, okay. and they come from all over. The different cities. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And we supply the bait, and uh, the bait in this case uh, consists of um, uh, cut up uh, calamari mm -hmm. as well as um, uh, smelt type uh, uh, fish. So okay. it works. And this and the bait has um, been donated by um, Fish Hall Bait Company in Gardena. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. And we also have, uh, uh, as prizes for um, uh, the child that has the largest uh, fish for an age grape, grape uh, gradation, mm -hmm. um, a very nice uh, um, fishing uh, kit that it uh, has a little bait, uh, uh, a little um, uh, box with uh, weights and hooks Tackle on box. it. Oh, very so it's nice. really neat. Neat, neat little uh, rod and reel is what oh, it is. Oh, how lovely. They get really excited when they receive that. Oh, yeah. absolutely. We also give trophies okay. to, to the, for the largest fish by age group. Yeah. And, and if perchance a child should arrive without a, a rod or reel, mm -hmm. we can lend them one. Uh, also, who are, are, will be helping us uh, significantly in this is California State um, Fish and Game, or Fish and, and Wildlife, as it now is called. Okay. They also bring rods and reels that could be used in case we run low on ours. Very good. And they also will assist the child in, in uh, teaching them how to, to bait the hook. And that's very important, so they don't you know, get it in their finger right. or anything like that. Right. Or stick it right through. I right. Yes. I always have that problem with when I bait. And they also bring pamphlets. It's kind of an educational Fantastic. Yeah, day for them, too. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, um, let me ask you this. Do they teach anything about being stewards of the sea? Cause they, because we have a lot of fishing people who don't realize that where they're fishing at is the same place they're throwing their trash in, you know, and polluting. Oh, and yeah, so I, when yeah. I'm out, I get after them all the time, and I'm just like, hey, you know, we're stewards of the sea here. Exactly. Well, this is a, is a, um, a catch and release okay. that's known at the outset, and you don't take the fish home. Oftentimes, they're very small fish, yes. and uh, which legally couldn't be taken home anyway, or even cut up for bait, for that matter. Okay. So they, they throw them back. Okay, so but they learn all of that. They learn yes. all that. That's yes. fantastic. Yeah. So tell me, how did the fishing derby come about 22 years ago between the two of you? Oh, I think that we must have had a meeting and decided that that would be a good thing for us to do as a project. Okay. Yeah, a so you both project. Fish? No. No. Oh. Well, maybe Dick does. Yeah, I, I, I have a trawler, and it, um, <laughs> it sometimes you can fish from it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So it just seemed like a fun community service exactly. project. Exactly. Okay. Yes. 
All right, and then you saw how how what a wonderful time the kids had, mm -hmm. and did. then you're probably hooked. Exactly. Well, yeah. And no and you, usually, uh, uh, a photographer will be there from uh, maybe uh, the the uh, the. Um, what is the uh, paper in? Well, Sur the sun and the then sun. the Orange okay. County breeze. The yeah, sun, Orange, Orange County breeze. Yeah, yes. right but we've got a great photographer in our club now. Oh, okay. He takes fantastic pictures. So mm -hmm. hopefully he'll be back from. Um, he's over in Czechoslovakia yes, or something. Oh, yeah. how exciting! Taking pictures. Yes. Yes, he is. Wow, wow. So then we'll be back taking pictures of the fishing derby. Oh, I hope so. Right. Well, that's wonderful. Now, how long does the event last? After once they register, till around noon. Till around noon. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And we will f we will feed the the, the children um, uh, a small a light, light lunch, oh, okay. and they'll and something to drink and uh, and so we take good care of them. Okay, and then you have a little award ceremony. Yes, yes. yes. award ceremony oh, after that. Yeah. About how many kids participate each year? We'd say probably well, a hundred. I'd say that's the average. You'd okay. have up to one hundred and twenty. Oh, for heaven's sakes! Yeah. And Very they come good. from all over the area. It's not just Seal Beach, mm -hmm. but they come from. Uh, uh, Lakewood, uh, oh. uh, Long Beach, and Cerritos, Paramount. Yeah. So yeah. They, they come from all over. Oh, that's wonderful. And and the the presence of uh, fishing game is there. They really help uh, help a lot in getting this whole thing going and and making it uh, a true um, uh, successful uh, project. Oh, fantastic! So they've been your partners throughout the years. Um, most of the time. Most of the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have had someone else come. That you're yes. Dick's been good about getting us people to to come. And Noah, I think, has yes. been there. Okay. And also, uh, the um, I, I think I mentioned the, uh, the rods and reels are donated by um, uh, West Marine, the oh. West Marine store right here in, in, in Long Beach. In Long Beach, in Alvarez Bay. Very good. Yes. Very good. That's a, that is really a nice resource there. So, if any of our viewers would like more information, where can they reach you? Well, they can call me. Okay. And uh, the number is 562-882-0533. Very good. And um, so if anyone at home, if you've got kids or if you're a grandparent with grandchildren, um, you want to mark your calendars now for the 26th of August, and that is no, a the Saturday. 24th. 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 I'm sorry, the, this August 24th, yeah. Saturday, August 24th, yes. thank you. Um, and you want to register between 7 and 9 for the 22nd annual Seal Beach Fishing Derby. Thank you very much. I wish you much success on that. Thank like you. Let us know how it goes. And um, please, we're going to take a moment, but please stay tuned. We've got uh, the Women's Club of Seal Beach coming to talk about their upcoming plant sales. So we'll be right back. Welcome back to the August edition of Studio Cafe. Joining us now, we have members of the Women's Club of Seal Beach, uh, Marilyn Russell Biddle and Nancy Cradell. 
So thanks very much, ladies, for joining Thank us. You. Thank you and so much. It's so exciting. We have your upcoming plant sale coming up. So yes. um, when is the plant sale? September 7th and 8th, mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday. All day, both days. All day, both days. So when you say all day, what time does it start in the morning? Well, Nine, you know, we, we say seven, oh. seven to six. We're ah. there about six oh, in the morning. Six. but uh, Setting up. Setting up and getting ready for people. And, and usually there are people there ready to start buying early in the morning. Well, I'll tell you, I have bought some of the most beautiful plants from you ladies oh, over the thank years. You. So, and they're all doing so well, so Good. thank you. And um, what type of uh, plants did you bring to share today as a sampling of what you've got for sale? This is an indoor plant, okay. and people are always asking for indoor plants, especially people that live in apartments. Mm -hmm. And so we try to accommodate and have a nice selection of indoor plants. And Nancy? This is indoor also. Oh. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> no, the name of it. Okay. I was given this, okay. but it is indoor. All right, so you have a nice, um, a nice selection of both indoor and outdoor plants this and year. And we have a lot of a nicely arranged plants, you know, in, in different kinds of pots and okay. uh, that are decorative. And so something that, you know, for everyone, a, a, lot, of, uh, a lot of succulents. Mm -hmm. People like succulents in this area, drought-resistant plants. Mm -hmm. So. Easy to take care and, of, and hard to kill. A very popular yeah. one is plumeria. Yes. People, and you know, it's interesting to try to tell someone who lives in the desert how to grow a plumeria, <laughs> which doesn't work. <laughs> No, that's a rough one. <laughs> that would be a rough one. So I know that this is one of your um, one of your largest fundraisers throughout the year. Yes. Um, and you ladies do quite a bit, and you give so much back. So do you want to talk a little bit about um, the organizations that benefit from all your efforts? Sure. May I read? Absolutely. This? Uh, the Women's Club of Seal Beach is a nonprofit service organization and social club that serves our community. We're proud to say that one thousand one hundred percent of the money raised at our tea and our raffle and our plant sale go to the following youth groups. Oak Middle, McAuliffe Middle, McGaw Elementary, Youth Center, Seal Beach Parks and Rec, Los Al Grad Night, Golden West College, Long Beach City College, We Care, Mary Wilson Library, Military Families at Seal Beach Weapons Station, and the Wildlife Refuge, and the Horticulture uh, at Long Beach City College scholarships. Oh. So we really do give back. You it's sure do. We try to help everybody that we can of the young people. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you spread it around and you do a good job. And you ladies have a good time while you're doing it. Oh, don't we you? do. Um, your club has been in existence for many years now. How many years have you been doing the plant sale? Do you know? Oh, my goodness. Um, o over 10 years, I okay. know. And uh, it started out as just a little small project. And now you know that we have. Uh, we're putting out more plants, it seems like, every year to sell. Well, fantastic. And you sell darn near all of them, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. It amazes me. Every year, you know, I'll come by the, the uh, uh, pier there, and it's wall-to-wall -wall plants. <laughs> and then by the end of the weekend, it's, you know, a little card table. <laughs> yes. Oh, we we don't want to take them home. We <laughs> want to make sure they get sold. And we're very lucky. H&H &H donates to mm -hmm. us. Okay. H&H. &H, uh, and... The uh, Long Beach City College has a donation, too, that we pick up. Yes. Okay. And the VA Hospital has a group that they give us some plants, too. And each one of our members donates uh, plants. Okay. They have to so uh, donate three plants. So Everyone has, a, everyone has duties and responsibilities. You yes, betcha. Yes, they do. Well, that's the, the stat, and then that is why your program is so successful, yes. why mm -hmm. it's been so much fun. Yes. Now, the, gar the ladies in the garden section, is there this what they head up? Pretty much. It started out as the gar yes, yes, the garden okay. section is really primarily the r the responsible group, mm -hmm. but then it is a club function. We expect everyone, everyone to participate. Well, and it's fun. And it is fun. We all it come is. and sit and besides while we're selling plants, we sit and enjoy each other's company. Mm -hmm. And if if anyone is interested in joining our group, mm -hmm. come and meet us that day and 
join in. We there have a lot can. of fun. Oh, fantastic. A lot of nice people. Lots of nice ladies. I've had several several different ladies from your club on the show, mm -hmm. and always a pleasure. Yes, yeah, thank so, you. Um, so if you need a uh, plant for inside or outside, um, the plant sale will be happening the same weekend as the Arts and Crafts Fair at, up at um, Eisenhower Park on September 7th and 8th. So make sure you mark that on your calendar and um, stop by and see the ladies at the, um, at the plant sale. So thank you very much thank for you. being thank with you. us this evening. Uh, we're going to take a, a brief break, but then we will be back to find out about the movie night up at Eisenhower Park. So don't you go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the August Editionist Studio Cafe. Um, I'm, I'm Joe Dawson, your host, and joining me now, I have Esther Kenyon and Haley Pollock with the uh, Bay Theater Foundation. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. This is, I'm so excited about this. Um, you and I have talked about this a few years ago, the Bay Theater and what was going to happen. So I'm very excited. And we had Nick Carabata on the show a couple months ago to, yes. to um, put the word out there of what you're doing. So it's nice to meet members of his committee. So thank you very much for uh, being here tonight and also for your dedication to this um, really exciting cause. Um, so Haley, tell us about the free movie night at the Eisenhower Park. We're doing a movie series. There will be four movie nights. Mm -hmm. um, they'll be on Friday nights beginning September 13th. We're kicking off with Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. um, they'll happen every Friday until October 4th, so the 13th, the 20th, the 27th, and then October 4th. Mm -hmm. They'll happen at dusk, which is about 7.15 that time of year. And we'll be showing um, Ghostbusters, Wreck-It Ralph, Step Into Liquid, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, fun mm -hmm. movies, and perfect family shows. Mm -hmm. And will there be any other activities going on, or just the movies? Uh, we're just doing movies. Just doing movies. So bring your own popcorn? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I love popcorn. Gotta have popcorn with the movie. Bring so a blanket. Might bring be a, a blanket. Cool yeah, a blanket, a sweater, too. maybe some hot chocolate, or yes. yes so stay warm. And um, what is the purpose of the uh, movie nights, Esther? The Bay Foundation. 
Well, um, Seth Eaker, the ever articulate Seth Eaker, has put together some talking points okay. as to the purpose of the foundation. And uh, I will be using those as part of the case statement, which will help us secure the theater. Okay. So with your permission, I'd like to read those oh, because they certainly. are el eloquent and excellent. Very good, okay. <laughs> We have an, a unique opportunity to preserve a critical piece of the history of Seal Beach. Our vision is one of not only movies, but a multi-purpose arts, theater, and community center with a diversity of uses, including performances, concerts, art shows, private events, and public community gatherings. It is a once in a lifetime opportunity in Seal Beach as nothing will ever come again like this in Old Town. Each town has a heartbeat and an entryway. Together with the pier, the entrance to Old Town, the Bay Theater will be a historical landmark and a cultural anchor. If you want to be part of the magic that has always been surrounding this theater, you can go to our website, thebaytheaterfoundation.org, and sign up for an upcoming newsletter, which will tell you about how you can support this marvelous cause and so how we can secure this theater once and for all for Seal Beach. Oh, and it really is important that we don't let that disappear. You know, it's, it's been closed too long already, um, but with everything just being developed and developed and developed, it's just important for us to hang on to that It's history. going to be a long process. Yes. We would like to have some marvelous individual step up and buy the theater. Uh, however, that may not happen, mm -hmm. so I think plan B would be to uh, put together a consortium of community leaders mm -hmm. who will see the importance of this historic theater and for the economic development of Old Town. Ah, very good, very good. Well, I know you have, uh, you have good people already in place. Yes. And so um, are you looking for more volunteers to be part of the committee or to be involved in that end? We are looking for volunteers for a variety of um, ideas. Okay. Um, we want them to be able to volunteer at a moment's notice if we're going to be putting on a special event. Mm -hmm. um, this is a community driven effort and the more people that we have in this marvelous Seal Beach community to help us, the sooner it's going to happen. There so you we go. want everyone. Okay, okay. And so put on your calendars now to come out the uh, Fridays beginning in September and the, the first date again is September 13th September 13th and you'll probably have information out at that time as well so they yes. can learn more we'll about flyers. the Bay Theater Foundation mm -hmm. they can enjoy movie night they can be part of um, establishing a community foundation of support for the Bay Theater Foundation and the efforts to preserve the theater and to create a wonderful landmark and a uh, cultural center. I love that. Thank I you. absolutely love that. I know it's been your vision a long time. Yes. So it's exciting to, <laughs> um, to have this all start to really come together. And so that's exciting. Are there any other, um, is there any other information that you want our viewers to be aware of with regards to the foundation or to the movie nights? Only that if uh, there are a number of wonderful ladies in town that have uh, petitions to be signed to uh, let everybody know that they're on board. Oh, okay. uh, we're collecting names, we're collecting email uh, of those names. Mm -hmm. um, again, I think there are about 200 people at this point that are willing to help us. Okay. Uh, we need about a <laughs> thousand more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As I said, it's coming up with the 2.1 million to mm -hmm. buy the theater mm -hmm. and then probably another who knows million to rehab it into the center that we would like uh, it's going to be a big effort but it's one in which we cannot be deterred it has to happen it has been in the backs of many people's minds for years and years and years and now it's going to come to fruition well we've had so many little gems disappear here um, just in the decade plus that I've been here. And so um, it is important that we not let too much more slip by um, 
for that very reason, you yes. know, to the preservation. Um, it is a sweet old, a sweet little town, <laughs> and um, we all, that's why we're here, we all love that. Um, we certainly don't want to be another Huntington Beach or anything, not that Huntington Beach is a bad place, but it's a quaint little seaside community. That's what draws us here, and that's what we just absolutely love. And so to, I know, we'll probably have no problem getting enough people involved with this because we all love Seal Beach. Yes. And so, um, so if you want to show your support, uh, visit the BayTheaterFoundation.org website, sign up for the newsletter, uh, mark your, your calendars now for the free, free movie nights, um, and come and watch a movie with the rest of your community. Meet the committee members uh, who are um, spearheading this effort and be a part of uh, saving this little gem of ours. Um, because it's, uh, it is really so important for our community. Absolutely. So thank you both very much for, thank again, you. for your dedication to this. <laughs> and I know we'll be seeing a lot more of you <laughs> as this develops. So remember that the Studio Cafe is a resource to get the word out to folks uh, through SBTV. We're happy to do that. And, uh, and I'll see you at the movies. Thank you How's so that? much. That is so exciting. Thank you. <laughs> and we have... <laughs> <laughs> we do have a little bit more time, and so I would like to um, remind everyone, we were unable to have uh, Belinda from um, the Arts and Crafts Fair on the show this year, uh, or, or this, um, this show, and so we'd like to again remind you that the Arts and Crafts Fair will be happening the second weekend in September following Labor Day weekend, so the 7th and 8th, the same weekend as the Women's Club uh, plant sale, so mark your calendars for that as well. Um, we have so many wonderful things happening here in Seal Beach, so please keep uh, Studio Cafe in mind as a resource for you. If you have an announcement or event or project and you'd like to share it with our viewers, please be in touch with us. Uh, I'd like to um, remind everyone um, that we do have a... Um, an obligation to our city to take care of it and keep it the gem that it is and to um, gently remind others that we are stewards of our sea um, and so it's really important that we remember to clean up after ourselves and uh, and all that good stuff too. I walk every morning on the pier so that's one of my pet peeves. Um, but I would like to take a moment again to thank all of our guests for being on the show. Um, we have so many fun things happening here, and it's such a delight to bring you this each and every month. Thanks to all my crew for volunteering their time and making it possible for us to bring the show to you. I'd like to take a moment to thank uh, Z Pizza and um, Alan Grant and his crew for providing uh, nourishment for our crew. My thanks to Matt Clark at Upstairs Downstairs for taking care of my hairdo, to the Harvey Girls at Harvey Girls Gallery for providing my wardrobe. They're always dressing me up so nice these days. I look so good, it's crazy. Um, but I thank all of you for tuning in and being a part of our little slice of Seal Beach. Uh, Seal Beach, the city of surf, sun, and fun. Thank you so much, and we will see you next time right here on Studio Cafe. Thank you. Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday! 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 Happy bir